Hey guys, this is Brad from Max Rarity back again with my next video. We talked about supporters last game, and now we are going to be talking about items and meta choices in those items. Or, well, training the cards that aren't supporters because we're going to throw in the field in there with it. Okay, so, obviously, we have our lovely deck that we've been building here. And so here's our supporters. I decided to put that ninja boy in just three ninja boys. Still, it's open spots. So you can kind of go with what you want. And obviously the ratio that we talked about last time was we're going to have 14 items. So here's our 14 items. Well, 14 trainers that aren't supporters because we have our two parallel cities, which aren't really an item. Um, so when we're looking at a meta choice in a deck. Most of those are going to be in our items. Because a lot of things that you play, they're just staples. You just kind of have to have them. In Pokemon, you have a whole bunch of meta choice that you can make in there. Still, you do have kind of that... I have to, I have to run lately. Like, I have to run... Espeon, for example, just because it's so good. Mr. Mime, or Angry, or um, Remoraid and Artillery, if you do run the two line of that. So there's a lot of, like, still, even within everything else, there's staples. And obviously you have staples in your items. We have our Ultra Balls, which are obviously staples. Kind of our choice bands and our Field Blowers. Now here's where the meta choice really gets to be the choices. And kind of like the extra items that you play. So... Special Charge, you kind of, in a deck with so much energy, you run Special Charge. And you're a Rusty Stretcher. In most decks, I think that's really good. One of the things that you could run, like say we made this and we turned this into an Energy Denial deck. These would be very different. Obviously, we would be running um, Hammers. Probably running four crushing, probably running four puzzles of time, probably running two enhanced hammer, probably. Because you have things like Drampa, which can just knock it off, and other things like that, for example. So once you have your ratio, like say this was a different ratio, because if we're going for energy denial, we're actually really going to be looking at a lot less supporters that are going to be staples. So honestly, you'd be probably running this many supporters, and then two more items. For example, or maybe a third item. And then I would probably turn a choice bin into... There we go. So they would be running more items like this. So these would be flare grunts, for example. So this is kind of how your ratio changes, depending on what you're going to be doing. But you really need to think about where that ratio is at all times, because for an energy denial deck, for example, if you're searching it, you know. If you're not, well, then you're not. Right? So then you just have to, like, draw into it. So you kind of have to make sure that, like, you have enough to draw into it when you need it. Because, like, say, like, for example, if I was playing Energy Denial deck, I would be cutting a lot of Pokemon out. So I would be running, um, well, it, for, in the Marshall deck, for example, you could, you'd be running, like, Drinkbuzz, and you'd be running the new Mowrotom, for example, that knocks off a special energy, because you're going to have the energy anyway. But you could also do it for free, randomly. And so... Like, they'd just be, like, I wouldn't be running these in that. I would probably be running, like, this would be my hammers. Just get my hammers out there. And I'd probably only be running, like, this many, like, of my staple items. But, like, I just have to make sure that, be and that's only because I want to deny them energy, that I can go a little bit longer with more items. Because the supporters don't matter much, as, as much that much at that point. Because I'm just telling you no at all times. Like I'm running, I'm running 
Pokemon that just say, you can't attack me. Oh, by the way, you're having a to attack, so it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> so, like, you can't attack me, you can't hit me. I just want something like that, that just kind of ends up being better. But no, since we're not playing that, we're looking at a lot of things that are staples, and kind of, well, where do I make my meta choice there? And really, the big meta choice in this is going to be your... Um, your stadium. Because a lot of people are running clean, especially, Gar especially Gardevoir, and you want to be able to just tell them, no, you cannot parallel me. I'm going to parallel you first, so that then they can't just overlay on the parallel. And even if you are paralleling yourself, although in a Gardevoir matchup, I would not parallel myself, I parallel them. All day, man. All day. But that's kind of what this deck does. So when we're thinking about that, what are we thinking of that's going to kill us? Well, that's going to be Garbodor. So we're going to have to run Field Blowers, and we're going to run a lot of them. Really, when it comes down to it, you could take an, you could take one of these choice bands and put it as a Field Blower. To run four of them, to really tell your opponent, no, I'm not going to play this game. You aren't going to kill me with that Garbodor. Garbodor. Although the guard of work could be a problem, but so. So, like, that's kind of, it's where your ratios within the ratios kind of come into play. Because there are sometimes, when I'm looking at a deck, if I, like, Hoop, Hoop and Nine Tails, for example, there may be times I only run for the Ultra Bowl. Because I have, a, I have a Pokemon that searches it. I have a Pokemon that just says, search to Search two. Yay. That's fun. Like, even in Marsha, I could slip in one just to be like, search this, get rid of this, search this, get rid of this. So it's kind of, give me my discard outlets to get rid of things, and where I then might play Last Ultra Ball. Because I don't need that many when I have something that searches for me. If, for example... If I go in Hooper Nine Tails, I go Bridget first turn for three Hoopa, search of all picks that are Nine Tails, and get to play them. Then what do I? What else do I need at that point? Like I can keep searching, but I don't need Ultra Balls. I'm fine. My board is set up. And a lot of times, I cannot tell you how many times I've literally seen people just go pitch Ultra Balls. Fail to search. Instruct with the Ranguru for three. <laughs> like, it's good. So, but that means that if you're... It's only good because you're allowed to discard them. And don't have to find anything. So, that's kind of where I am on items. I think when building a deck for... Like this deck, for example. We are really going to up the count and make sure that we have a count of field blowers because you just need them. Garbodor sucks. Can't wait till it's gone. And this is about control. So when we're running control, we need to run our parallel cities. You could run a whole bunch of different different things if you really wanted to. Like you could run um, Brooklyn Hill, you could run well, Town. Potown. Potown wouldn't be bad. Um, it's one of those things you can run the Poe Town so that when, since most things evolve, you just go, oh, woo, kill it, mm, kill it, with an Espeon. It's always a plus. It's always nice. So, like, that's where kind of, like, you have your open spaces to run things and kind of get over that. And, obviously, if you wanted to, you really, if you wanted to make this more balanced... We really could take out oh, there you go. take out some drop take out some of these supporters and then run more items. For example. Kind of balance it out more and then really make it 18, 12, 15, 15. You could definitely do that. It's definitely not a bad play.
from the others. But I lost touch of all for a while, and I was very, very sad. So it's kind of one of the things, you can mix and match. The biggest thing about a deck is making sure it's versatile. Because there are a lot of decks that are good, but because they aren't versatile, they are not good enough. One of the decks that I've been playing is um, Chaos Wheel with Miss Magius, because I like Chaos Wheel, Chaos Wheel's back, I'm excited. It's not versatile enough, sadly. I love it, I think it's really good, I think it's really enjoyable to play. It's just not good enough, sadly. It just kind of just dies there. Because it's just not... Like, you have one really cool trick. If you don't go, and if you... You have to be so narrow on what you do with it that it's niche, it's good, and, and the, believe me, it'll come to a tournament and kill some people. Like, you can look at Garbodor and think it's funny. All day long. All day long. You can deny them all day long. Okay. I can do it with one energy, too. That's neat. But, like, it just, it just doesn't just doesn't add up because it's not versatile enough and doesn't have enough things out there. I will be bringing up that deck profile to you guys soon, hopefully. Oh, there's one on my channel. I've been working on a very, very heavy energy deny variant. Like, it's pretty denial. Pretty much denial everywhere. And it's a lot of fun. I'll be bringing that to you guys soon. So... Here's kind of how we have everything set up now, which kind of does bring us to kind of the end of our series here. We have our three videos for this, our third and final video, because really we, well, I'll do one more on, on energy, so I guess not the last, but close enough. And um, because what I've done is as, as I go through things, I change things all the time. Like, I really do. Like, I, I look at what I'm doing. Oh, is that too many? No, sorry. I look at everything that I'm doing, and I come up with another idea, and I choose to do it that way. But that's what I like about deck building. That's what I like about having fun with it. Like, how do I make it more consistent? How do I do this? I play this here. How? What do I learn from my mistakes there? So, the next thing that we're going to be talking about after... For our next, for our next video is going to be about energy and open spaces, and how to create open spaces in your deck, and how to utilize them to their best potential. Thank you for watching, guys. May your lives be as max ready as my decks. Have a great day.